Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have an SMA Sunny Boy inverter. And if you can see here, the red light is on and the inverter's coming up with a message down the bottom here sometimes. Grid failure, check fuse. So as soon as you see a red light on a Sunny Boy inverter like this, it means there's, there's some message it's trying to tell you. And if the green light's flashing like that, it means that the system isn't actually producing any power at the moment so you really want to find out what's going on if the system was actually working the green light should be on constant so when it's saying grid failure like that and check fuse it's it's telling us that the inverter is not detecting any power from the electricity grid so it's saying the grid's failed and uh, so check the fuse or circuit breaker to make sure it hasn't tripped off something like that so what you would want to do is go to your switchboard and check that the solar supply main switch or the inverter supply main switch is turned on in there and you want to make sure obviously that you, the uh you're not suffering from a blackout at the time that there is power from the grid for your other circuits as well and if you have one at the inverter you may have an inverter ac isolator like this you want to make sure that's on as well now if you have a look at this one is actually in the off position so down is off up is on so in our case here we've just uh, got to turn that one back on and then the inverter should try and start up in a few minutes and uh, after it's detected the grid and you can see actually here it tells us the voltage of the, of the grid so it's actually detecting the grid now if that voltage was zero volts it means it hasn't detected the grid and you see the red lights gone now so this inverter should start up nicely now if you've checked those things and you're still having an issue where it's coming up with the uh, grid failure check fuse message then i recommend you get in touch with a local solar accredited electrician who can assist you further they might have to do some fault finding on your system to work out what's going on now, if you're still having the issue and you're on the Gold Coast or Southeast Queensland area, I recommend getting in touch with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We can certainly help. If you're somewhere else around the world, I recommend getting in touch with a local solar accredited electrician who can assist you further. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.